Hey friend, John McLennan here, and welcome back to the final episode of the Beatles Sgt. Pepper's series. In this video, you're gonna learn how to play A Day in the Life as recorded by the Beatles on guitar. So this is it, this is the end of the road for this album, and if this is the first video in this series you've seen, I've posted a brand new song lesson for every single song on this classic Beatles album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And this is the final track, it's called A Day in the Life, and I'm gonna show you a main acoustic guitar part that goes through the entire song. Now this song is almost like two totally different songs. You have the first part where John Lennon sings, and then the big orchestral crescendo in the middle, and then that segues into Paul McCartney coming in and singing his part of the song, and then again the orchestral crescendo back into the John Lennon part of the song, and then we do one more final just big crescendo to a big E chord. And I'm gonna show you how to play through all of that in today's video. Now before we dive into it, I wanna hook you up with something right away. At the first link down below, I've got the Ultimate Soloing Guidebook. And this is a free PDF that you can download that's gonna show you how to play over major, minor, and dominant chords. So you'll have the tabs, the sheet music, and the audio examples to put it all together and help take your playing to the next level. So grab your copy using the first link down below or just go to johnmcclennan.com slash free book to get it there. All right, well with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down this final song from Sgt. Pepper's This Is A Day In The Life. Now we're gonna start off with a four bar intro. I'll play it for you first and then I'll break it down. Here's what it sounds like. Three and four and. Then John Lennon comes in with the verse right there with the vocals. So I'm starting out on a G chord and then going to a B minor. Now this G chord that I'm playing is this folk style. You can play any G you want, but I'm going for this one, which would be the third fret of the low E, then open, 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 and third fret. I'm muting the fifth string. Then I go to just a typical B minor bar chord from the fifth string down, two, four, four, three, two. Then we go to E minor. That's all six strings, open, two, two, open, open, open. Then what you do is you take off the note on the fourth string. So it goes open, and then you get this E minor seven, so it's like, Then you go to C for two bars. That's gonna be just from the fifth string down, three, two, open, one, open. So all together with just counting it out and just strumming once on each chord, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then stay there an extra bar, two, three, four, then we're into the verse. Now the main sort of strumming pattern that I'm doing for this first part of the song is just eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I'm doing eight strums per bar, just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Just going back and forth. That's why I was counting one and two and three and four and. I'm splitting up one beat into two parts. Now the other thing that's on the recording that's pretty cool is there's a slight accent on the up beat. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Now then the vocal. I read the news today, oh boy. 
So having that little upbeat in there accented adds a really cool feel to it. So simple eighth notes back and forth, but then accent the upbeat. Now when we go to the verse, we start off with the same two bars. So we're gonna go G, B minor, E minor, E minor seven. Then we go. Okay, so what I did there was I went to a C, then a C over B. And what it is, is you take a C chord, but you just change this note down a half step. That gets a really cool sound, so. Then you bring these two fingers down one string for what's called an A sus2, and then it goes to an A minor. So it's like an A minor, but with that finger off, and then you put it back on like this. It's like a little melody in the chord progression. That's just one and two and three and four and. So on the and of three, I'm putting that finger down and then it's coming back off on the and of four. One, two, and three, and four, and. Do, 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 do. Same thing again. Then here we go. Da, 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 da. repeat back. So did the same thing, G, B minor, E minor, E minor 7. Then the second time here in the verse, I'm going C to F. And that's just an F bar chord there that I play with my thumb. Or you can do it like that, just the top four strings there. 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. Then to the E minor, E minor 7. Then again, C. Da, 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 e minor. And then finish with C. Then repeat back. Here we have a little variation. Then we just stay on the C the second time, then we repeat back for the next verse. Same thing. Then the third time. Then we come off that C chord and what I do is just go, and I go with the melody there, just the notes B to C, second string open to the first fret. Okay, and that sort of fades out and then we go into this, you know, just big crescendo. Okay, so that's what I play there. So I'm just doing tremolo picking. I'm just going back and forth with my strum hand and I'm just going chromatically up, just every single note all the way up till I get to this E note. And what I did was throw a chord on there. And an E chord, which is just nine, 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 12, starting on the fourth string. Now this next part is where Paul comes in singing and it's almost like a separate song. So I've created a little arrangement here with the piano, you know, and this goes with the words, woke up, fell out of bed. We just start by palm muting an E chord. Woke up, you know, and then the vocal comes in there. Uh, so once the verse starts, we've got three bars of one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then D. coat and grab my hat 
Okay, so what's going on here is I went to D for two bars after the three bars of E. Then I play a bar of E, a bar of B7, a bar of E, and then two bars of B7. Now this B7 is from the fifth string down, two, one, two, open, two. And I'm just laying my palm here going chunk, 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 four strums per bar, just like one, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, then B, two, three, four, B. Then da 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 and da 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 Okay, then I play that little melody. Da, 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 da. Then we're back to. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let me explain this ah section. Each chord is lasting two bars. Okay, I'm going C to G, D to A, and then E. Okay, now A is just from the fifth string down, open, two, 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 open. So here I'm going C. G, then D, A, E. So strumming wise here for this section, I'm going one, two, three, four, and just down, 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 up. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. Okay, we do this progression twice. Now on the second time, instead of going to the E, I play this little line. So that's open first string, then to the second string, three, one, three, and then play that G string, open third string, or you could, so, just go straight to the G chord. And that takes us back to the verse. Okay, so, out of this ah uh, section, the, this bridge, then we sort of segue back into the first part of the tune with John singing. Okay, we go back to that melody. We do the big crescendo all the way up again. And I end on this giant E chord here. And what this is, is playing five strings. I'm playing seven on the low E, seven, then nine, nine, nine. It's just an E with a B in the bass, so it sounds very strong, like that ending chord, which is incredible. Congrats on making it through this classic Beatles song, A Day in the Life. Be sure to take it slow, work out each part, and try and put it together and play it along with the recording. And that's going to help you get the timing and the groove and just really start leveling up your guitar playing. Now, before you go, be sure to download my ultimate soloing guidebook at the first link down below. And this is going to help you open up the fretboard and learn to solo and play lead parts over major, minor, and dominant chords, which are your three main chord qualities you want to get started with. So grab your copy at johnmcclennan.com slash free book or use the first link down below. Thanks so much for following along with me in this mini series on how to play every single song from the Beatles album, Sgt. Peppers. As always, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below so you can check out all of these songs and you can have them for reference. You can come back and work on any song at any time. I'll also leave some other links where you can see some other complete albums that I've done. So far, I've covered Rubbered Soul, 
Rubber Soul and Abbey Road as well. So you can learn every song from those albums as well. Now, if I should continue the album series, just leave a comment down below and let me know what album I should cover next. Thanks so much for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in another video real soon.